Hello my dear family members, today we came with a very in-demand topic that is cloud and network security. So today we will solve some important previous year question and the recent on-campus question that will blow your mind. Okay, let's go. So the first question is suppose computer A and B have IP addresses this 10.105.1.113 and the IP address of the B is this respectively and they both use the same net mask N. Which of the values of N given below should not be used if A and B should belong to the same network. So I would request you to Please pause the video and try to solve the problem by yourself if you can, right? Okay, without delay, I am solving the problem. So the IP address of A is this and IP address of B is this shown to you, right? And last octet is in binary form in this also binary form, right? So if we do AND operation between computer A and option A, then we will get this, right? And if we uh, do AND operation between b computer b and the option one then we will get this right so in these both cases we get same output network right and in option two if we do and operation between a computer a and computer b then we will get then both same right so if we do uh, with option three then we will also get same ip address i mean same network but if we do the AND operation between A IP address and the option 4 subnet mask then we will get uh, false and true is false true and true is true true and true is true true and false is false 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 and true and false is false right so IP address uh, sorry the as result is this and in this case if we do AND operation between B computer B and the option 4 then we will get this right so the output network for both of them is different so that's why the answer will be option 4 is the option 4 is the answer which which is uh, not be used if a and b should be along to the same network right okay the next question is what is the maximum size of data that the application layer can pass on the TCP layer below. But the answer will be actually any size because, because uh, there is no limit defined by standards. The lower layers divide the data if needed. Right. Okay. The next question is one of the header fields in an IP, ad IP datagram is the time to leave field. Which of the following statements best explains the need for this field? Can you answer that? Okay, let me answer that. Uh, actually, the answer will be uh, it can be used to prevent, right? Actually, time to leave TTL can be thought of as an upper bound on the time that an IP datagram can exist in the network. The purpose of the TTL field is to avoid a situation in which an unbelievable or undeliverable datagram keeps circulating, right? Okay, I hope you have got the answer. So the next question is a computer on a 10 Mbps network is regulated by a token bucket. The token bucket is filled at a rate of 2 Mbps. It is initially filled to capacity with 16 megabits. And what is the maximum duration for which the computer can transmit at full 10 Mbps? So this is also a little numeric based question. So what will be the answer please? give me the answer in the comment section okay let me solve the problem actually what is the maximum duration for which the computer can transmit the formula for that uh, to calculate the maximum duration the formula is b by m mi m minus r right where b is the capacity of the token bucket and m is the maximum possible transmit rate and r is the new tokens added at the rate of right so b is here in this case 16 right 16 that is 
the max cap the max sorry the capacity of the token bucket and the aim is uh, the maximum possible transmission that is 10 in this case and r is uh, the r is 2 here right 2 mbps so r is 2 so 2 minus 10 minus 2 is 8 and 8 multiply to 16 right so the answer will be 2 seconds so i hope you have got the answer right okay ne next question is uh, you are a system administrator on a network network you are running network 4.11 and you cannot communicate with your router what likely may be the problem among them please opt a uh, option and give me the answer okay i am answering actually network 4.11 defaults to 802.2 will be the answer right so the answer will be option a right what happens actually network 4.11 by default uses the ethernet 802.2 802.2 frame type for communication right if you if your router is not configured to support 802.2 encapsulation or if there is a misconfiguration on either the router or the network server this could lead to communication issues routers typically support a variety of uh, encapsulation types right so it's important to ensure that the encapsulation types matches on both the network server and the router right so this was asked actually on 29th august and this is a quiz question for you so which represents pass among them the first column the second column or the third column or the fourth column which column represents pass that means platform as a service so for today's session this was the last question actually i could not have more screenshots that's why i could not uh, give you more questions so as soon as i get more questions i will again make another videos right so please subscribe this channel and be with us thank you for today's session